So a question we get asked a lot is how do you clean the glass on your wood burning stove? I'm sure there are many folks out there that know uh, how to get it nice and clean, but this is just to help anyone who does not. Um, your glass will get dirty. Um, a variety of factors will influence how quickly it will get dirty. For example, burning wet wood will increase the speed under which it gets dirty. Um, so, and also burning resinous woods. That's also going to make it dirtier quicker. It tends to get dirty around the edges of the of the glass. Um, also, below your fire bars, often um, the glass cleaning um, system within the stove doesn't always work as well just below those bars. So it might get a bit dirty down the bottom. Mine isn't too dirty at the moment, but um, as you can see around the corners here, we've got a little bit of um, dirt build up. Probably can't see it that well on that camera, but um, you will when we've cleaned it. Um, I'm going to try a couple of different um, techniques. One is a proprietary brand stove glass cleaner. That one's available on the market here in South Africa. Okay, there's that one. And then we're going to just try another system that many folks have been using for, for years, and that is um, water. Water and a little bit of wood ash. Now, at this point, before I start doing this, we are not endorsing um, the use of wood ash to clean your glass officially. And uh, the reason I say that is because you have to take responsibility for the fact that if you use the wood ash to clean your glass, it's your, it, it, it's your issue if you scratch the glass because you pick up grit. Um, the wood ash that you, that you want to use, select when you do this, is the soft, the really soft powdery. Can you see that? The soft powdery stuff on the top. Um, if you get grit and, and scrub away on here, you're going to scratch your glass. Okay, so I must stress, you know, we don't want people phoning us up and telling us that um, their, gr their glass is scratched because we told them to clean the glass with wood ash. But um, it's your call if you want to try it. So let me show you. Let's quickly run the, the test. All I've got is a little bit of tissue paper for each. So I'm going to spray my, my glass cleaner on this side. I'll have to do them one at a time. Right, piece of tissue, got that. Okay, I'm going to work it in. Okay, now you're going to, you're not going to see a great deal of difference on that screen because it's almost a tint of brown haze that goes onto the glass, okay? But that is cleaning quite nicely. What we'll do is when I've finished, we'll do a close up of both sides and then we can compare it. Right, so that's the, that's the glass cleaner. Okay, I'll then take a clean piece of dry tissue and just clean that off, just dry that off, so, and that's the one side, quite nicely done. And then we're going to do our wood ash. <clears throat> so, one piece of tissue into the water, squeeze out the excess water, and then, this is where we dab, so, <clears throat> The soft wood ash is on the top there, just gently dabbing it in there so that it picks up, just hopefully you can focus in on that, picks up the little bits of the wood ash there. And then just gently, you can often tell if you have picked a bit of grit up because you'll hear it straight away, you'll hear it start to scratch and then you can just obviously make sure that it's, uh, you clean that off. Here we go, it's also coming off quite nicely. In both cases, whether you're using the, the proper stove glass cleaner or whether you're using your wood ash, you may well have to do it more than once because this stuff does tend to cake on. As you can imagine, it's been caked on at high temperatures, so it's not just going to come off in one easy go. Right, and there's my other side done. Now, this is just my opinion. But I would say there's nothing in it. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the camera now and do a quick close up. So you can still see we've got residual dirt on both sides, okay, in both corners. 
where it's cleaned up is most of the haze here okay so I will now do a repeat application on both sides and um, we'll soon see that that starts to clear up this this down here this very dark stain that will happen if you happen to have a piece of wood particularly um, a slightly damp piece that's very close to the glass perhaps resting on it that's what happened to me the other day and that's going to take a little bit more elbow grease to get that off so let's have another application and let's see what would what what uh, results we get put the camera back okay there we go no awards for film directing from me right so more of the proprietary brand um, chatting to other guys in the industry some say that even using a gentle uh, brillo pad type abrasive you know a sponge you know that some of them are quite happy to to work with that um, yeah I mean you've just got to be you just got to acknowledge the fact that it's your it's your sort of responsibility if you scratch your glass um, obviously tissue is very very soft so you've got no abrasion whatsoever to work to work the dirt off <clears throat> although as you can see it is coming off okay as you can see from the color of that so let's do one more wood ash application I've got a feeling the wood ash will probably just get it and just win because of the mild abrasion that it it provides so there we go and then so you can hear the difference in sound you can hear it's working that that um, that dirt off I carry the um, the stove glass cleaner with me when I'm doing maintenance jobs it's very handy but a combination in a way of doing both a little bit of wood ash and a little bit of the um, proprietary brand cleaner I'm even going to tackle this side actually while I'm at it should work quite nicely there you go it's just moving that off a little bit as well a little bit more application actually this side might just be a bit tougher because it's not coming off as easily as that side so to be fair to the to the glass cleaner it might just be the case that we've got tougher dirt a little bit of a clean tissue While we're talking, we'll, we'll post some more info on maintenance tips in the future. But whilst we're looking at the glass here, good opportunity for you to check your glass seal rope, which goes all the way around the glass seal. Make sure you're not letting any air in there, and also your door rope, making sure that's nice and secure and still working nicely. So let me just grab the camera for a one more close-up. Okay. And there, as you can see, both have done a nice job as I said I think the I think the dirt on this side was a little bit more ingrained than on the right hand side and there you go a little bit more work required down there but basically that's as simple as it is um, and of course folks if, you're, if someone else is cleaning the glass for you remember that this glass is very very expensive so um, make sure they handle it with care thanks for watching